Republicans may want to rethink one of their planned 2020 campaign themes, it seems that President Donald Trump has met a socialist country he actually likes. In recent months Trump has repeatedly cited what he calls the growing threat of socialism in an effort to tarnish leftist Democrats eyeing the Oval Office, while also justifying his efforts to oust Venezuela's dictator. But this week, the U.S. leader has been praising Vietnam, the socialist in name country hosting his summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. In fact, Trump has pointed to Vietnam's economic advances as a model Kim could emulate if he gives up his nuclear weapons. Vietnam is thriving like few places on earth, Trump tweeted Wednesday. North Korea would be the same, and very quickly, if it would denuclearize. The potential is awesome, a great opportunity, like almost none other in history, for my friend Kim Jong-un. During his meeting with Vietnamese leaders the same day, Trump waved a small Vietnamese flag, praised growing you. S. Vietnam economic ties and signed new trade deals. The president's public schedules also used the country's full official name, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Though it is standard diplomatic protocol to refer to foreign countries by their preferred name, the repeated presence of the word in official White House statements this week was jarring. Despite the presence of the S-word in its formal name, Vietnam is typically classified as a communist state. But its economy is largely capitalist, especially after the Communist Party adopted a policy of doi moi, renovation, in the 1980s. The country's official name is a vestige term, said Joshua Kurlancic, a senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations. People in Vietnam are focused on getting rich, making money. Vietnam is in some ways mimicking China by unleashing capitalist forces while keeping tight restraints on political expression. In one sense, praising Vietnam is just the latest discordant note for a president whose foreign policy, more than most presidents, is a tangle of contradictions on everything from human rights to use of military force. After all, on the other side of the world right now, Trump is using diplomatic and economic pressure to try to push out of power Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, who preaches socialist ideals but whose country's economy is in ruins.